Namaste. I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as a consultant dermatologist at Nirman Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bengaluru. Scabies is a common infestation. It is caused by a mite, scabies mite. So this is common in tropical countries. It is common in places where there is a lot of crowding because the mite is transmitted from person to person and this happens whenever there is a close contact. So naturally we see this among hostel students. We see it in nowadays even in uh, PGs because there is lot of crowding. Wherever there is crowding, then scabies can happen. And how does it present? So the main symptom of scabies is itching. So itching is very intense and usually it is in the evening time. And the rashes because of the scabies commonly happens in the moist and soft areas like the web spaces in the hands. It happens in the periumbilical area that is around the umbilicus. It can involve the genitals. So wherever the skin is soft, and wherever it is thin, there the scabies mite starts thriving. In children, it can also involve the face. Because in adults, whatever the sebaceous gland activity is there, to some extent, it has an inhibitory effect on the scabies mite. So scabies in children can also infect the face. So whenever people are infested by scabies mite, they present with itching, they present with rashes. And sometimes when the rashes are very intense and if they are excoriated means when they are scratched intensively then there can be oozing there can be secondary bacterial infection when it involves the genitals it can give rise to big big nodules we call it as nodular scabies that is mainly because the antigens which are present on the scabies mite so for that there is an immunological reaction in the body it is something like you are exposing the immune system to a new molecule and the body starts fighting to that so when this antigen antibody reaction happens, these inflammatory nodules will form and these nodules are slightly bigger in size in the genital areas when compared to what we get in the hands. Naturally, the itching is more, it does not look good and when it gets scratched and infected, it gives you a lot of pain. Apart from that, rarely there can be discoloration of the inner parts of the thigh because when we scratch intensively, there can be mighty bleeding. So that can give rise to discoloration of the skin in the thigh. So these are the clinical features of scabies and since it's a communicable condition many times what happens is multiple family members or close friends or room partners are infested by the same infection. So whenever you're scratching and what two or three people in the same home or in the room are infected then probably it is scabies. How do we treat? Most important thing is hygiene, maintain distance, take bath regularly once or twice depending upon the crowding and second, get treated immediately. See, that is very important because when the infection is mild, controlling it is easy. When the infection spreads, naturally you take more time. And whenever we treat, it's called as a blanket treatment. Whether the other person in the room or the home is infested or not, we usually treat everyone because the clinical symptom to start, it takes you time. You take treatment, but the other person is already infected. For the symptoms to start, he may take another two weeks. By that time, your infection is cleared. So then what happens is he again gifts the healed person. So for that reason, we do it as a blanket treatment. So everyone in the room or everyone in the home are treated with antiscabetic preparation. So by doing that, usually the infection heals within two to three weeks nicely. Whatever pigmentation is left behind that also spontaneously regresses or that can be treated separately.